everybody, I'm Cory. It's me! And I'm going to teach you how to make a machine gun, or in this case, a minigun, with a firing rate of 2,000 RPM. Well, actually, I don't know how much that is. How much is that? Like 2,000 a second? 500 a second? Anyway, I'm going to teach you how to make a machine gun. Anyway, I have a local script here in this tool and a handle. And here I have all of these variables. These are the precursor variables that you need. You know, you need the max ammo, the ammo, the rate of fire. The f and you need to define if it's firing or not with a false function because, honestly, you're not starting out firing, are you? And you need can fire to be true or else you're not going to fire at all. And reload for five seconds, which is, that's what that, that's what that's going to be, and the damage will be 20 per hit. Anyway, the, this is the player. This is how you find the local client of the player, this is how you find the mouse of the local client, and, you know, piece of cake. Now, this is where it gets awesome. Script.parent.activated connect. Let's see, uh, function. This is a connecting function to, you know, when you click the, uh, how do I put it, left mouse button? What? Uh, and I'm going to say if ammo is oh, oh, over then or equal to 1, because sometimes scripts don't run 0 for some reason, and, uh, can fire equals true then now this is the important part repeat you don't have to do this if you want to make just a semi-automatic weapon but it's recommended that you do if you're going to make a um, you know automatic weapon anyway until ammo is less than one and no, or, ugh, can fire, no, or not can fire, uh, firing equals false, because we already have a prime function for the if, uh, firing is true, ugh, down here we're gonna make a script dot parent dot deactivated connect function if ammo is less than that of max ammo uh and firing or no wait, we're not doing that yet. Oops. If firing equals true, then um firing equals false. And then down here we're gonna make the reload function, which is mouse that key down connect function key. I mean, you can put anything here you want, but whatever. I just put key because, you know, keys on the keyboard, ASDF, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, if string dot lower key equals R. This is to ensure that the lowercase of the Im keyboard input is R. Then, you know, if you're on caps lock, reloading will work. But, uh, now wait, reload. Uh, but before that, uh, let's put can fire equals false 
ammo equals max ammo. Oh wait, I forgot another variable. Uh, ammo is less than that of max ammo. And then you put can fire equals true. And I think we're done with the deactivate function and the activate function. Oh yeah. And firing equals false. Equal equal false. Um now this is the important part. Uh let's see. Local bullet equals instance dot new part workspace. This will insert a new part into the workspace and uh that's gonna be our bullet. Anyway, the bullet that can collide equals false because we don't want it to be bouncing off walls, that'd be crazy. Uh uh can collide. Uh bullet dot mm, shape equals ball bullet dot size equals vector three dot new zero point four zero point four zero point four bullet dot uh let's see material equals neon bullet dot hmm what do I, what else do I need? oh yeah brick color let's be creative here player dot team color yeah I think that's good um now this is the important part. A C frame dot new bullet dot. I'm sorry, not bullet. Uh, script dot parent dot handle mouse dot hit dot p. This will make it so that the bullet will originate at the handle and it's pointing towards the mouse hitting you know vector 3 this is going to be an important part as well local v equals instance dot new body velocity bullet this inserts a bullet, uh, body velocity into the bullet. But the primary velocity is, uh, the max velocity is, uh, 4,000 on all three vector three quantities. So you shouldn't have a problem with capping it out unless you go over 4,000. Okay, V dot velocity equals bullet dot c frame dot look vector this ensures that it's going in the direction of the look vector and it's going that fast that's about 520 studs per second which is really fast uh let's see let's make this uh game dot debris Add item fifteen. Uh, that means after fifteen seconds, it'll disappear. Uh, bullet. The after fifteen seconds, the bullet will disappear. Um, bullet dot touched connect function. Uh, hit. This will fire when the bullet is hit, and it will give the thing that it touched 
a hit name, the name of the object would be hit. Anyway, if hit dot parent does not equal player dot character uh, character and let's see hmm. hit dot parent uh, find first child humanoid And, uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health uh, equals. Let's just copy that because it's easier. Minus damage. Uh, and then we will put bullet destroy. Not nah, destroy. All right. Let's start a pack and let's spawn in a mesh rig. Thank you, Roblox. Boop. Ah. Oh, I forgot. Hmm, I always forget this. Uh, oh, I forgot the rate. Hmm, now we just wait for it to load. might take a while break okay um I forgot to put the rate so wait rate there we go or no not publish ah uh, Oh yeah, you're probably wondering why the bullets are white. That's because my uh, team color is white. Yep, there we have it. We have a bullet that damages things, and it's a minigun. Well, I'll make a more in-depth tutorial later, but this is all I can do for now. Uh, anyway, tell me if you enjoyed it in the comments below, and if you have any other recommendations to do, then I will do them. Um, my next tutorial tutorial is going to be on C-frame animating. So stay tuned for that. Goodbye.